The U.S. Army is awarding a $1.14 billion contract to General Dynamics Land Systems or GDLS, for its Mobile Protected Firepower or MPF, program. Viewers may note that this is one of the U.S. Army's top 35 modernization priorities. The Mobile Protected Firepower program is part of the Army's next-generation combat vehicle portfolio, which is developing future ground vehicles as part of the service's broader, multi-billion-dollar modernization effort that includes the optionally manned fighting vehicle. The Mobile Protected Firepower Vehicle, which will be the Army's first newly designed vehicle in over 40 years, will provide the Army's infantry brigades with essentially a vehicle for directing firepower against stubborn obstacles. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes what U.S. Army's Mobile Protected Firepower Platform is. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. In November 2017, the Army issued Request for Proposal RFP, for the Engineering and Manufacturing Development EMD, phase, and in order to maximize competition, plan to award up to two Middle-Tier Acquisition MTA, contracts for the EMD phase in early 2019. U.S. Army is expected to acquire 504 MPF systems. SAIC partnered with ST Kinetics and CMI Defense to offer its next-generation armored fighting vehicle. BAE Systems offered a vehicle based on the M8 armored gun system. General Dynamics Land Systems offered a variant of the Griffin III. In December 2018, the Army selected BAE and GDLS's proposals to move forward. The Army awarded two rapid prototyping contracts for MPF, GDLS delivered its prototypes based on the Griffin II in December 2020. BAE faced production difficulties and supplier issues related to the COVID-19 pandemic, which delayed delivery to March 2021. The assessment phase began in January 2021 at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, with testing scheduled to run through June 2021. In March 2022, Janes reported that BAE was disqualified from the competition due to non-compliance issues, leaving GDLS as the only remaining option. GDLS's offering was selected for the U.S. Army's Mobile Protected Firepower Program on the 28th of June, 2022. The initial contract is for 96 vehicles, with the first delivery by the end of 2023. The first units are expected to be equipped with it by the fourth quarter of fiscal year 25. Army Brigadier General Glenn Dean, the service's program executive officer for ground combat system, said the U.S. Army plans to field four battalions by 2030, with the bulk of the procurement fielded by 2035. He added that the program had a total life cycle cost of $17 billion across a 30-year lifespan. MPF is basically a replacement for the M551. In the mid to late 2020s, the U.S. Army planned to convert its tankless, airborne, air assault, light infantry, and mountain divisions into new joint forcible entry divisions. Each will be equipped with a battalion of 42 Mobile Protected Firepower platform. Mobile Protected Firepower looks like a tank, 
It has a turret and a four-person crew. The turret is armed with the M35, 105mm main gun, and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The fire control system is derived from the system used on the M1 Abrams main battle tank, also produced by General Dynamics. Additionally, MPF uses a tracked chassis based on the British Army's Ajax reconnaissance vehicle. Doug Bush, the Assistant Secretary of the Army for Acquisition, Logistics and Technology, said in a statement, The MPF program did exactly what the Army asked, which was to complete a competitive and accelerated rapid prototyping effort with soldier touchpoints. He added, MPF is a benchmark program, as the acquisition and requirement communities work together to complete the middle-tier acquisition rapid prototyping phase and move this system into production in just under four years. U.S. Army Brigadier General Glenn Dean told reporters at a roundtable earlier, according to Breaking Defense, This achieved everything we were intending to. We had two vendors. They were competitive. Gordon Stein, General Dynamics Land Systems Vice President and General Manager for U.S. Operations, said, We are honored that the Army has chosen our offering for this important program. Our team worked tirelessly to deliver our prototypes in time to support the Army's evaluation plan, and we incorporated soldier feedback into the final design. In a statement, a BAE spokesperson said the company would use lessons learned from MPF in future efforts. We believe BAE Systems' mobile protected firepower solution would provide the capability the Infantry Brigade Combat Team needs, a spokesperson said. While we were not chosen to move forward in the MPF competition, we'll take the innovation and lessons learned from our solution with us and apply it to future modernization efforts. The U.S. Army would formally name the vehicles around the association of the U.S. Army Conference in October. While the platform looks like a light tank, U.S. Army insists that mobile protected firepower is not a tank. There is merit to this, as although it can fulfill some tank missions, it lacks the armored protection to face other tanks or survive on a battlefield saturated with anti-tank guided missiles. MPF is meant to augment the firepower of tankless units without having to provide them 68-ton Abrams main battle tanks that are heavier and logistically challenging to deploy overseas. As proven time and again, a big gun is required to take out obstacles such as enemy bunkers and strong points, and this is where MPF will be handy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.